It's tabletop time. I'm Jazza and I'm playing Peter. Peter, eater of pumpkins. <laughs> I've got jokes like that now because uh, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good about myself these days. Less traumatized. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Rob. I play Sebastian. I killed him, and I feel extreme guilt about it. And he doesn't care. Yeah, it's cool, man. So now We're that, good. That guilt goes nowhere. We well, didn't kill him. <laughs> This is just a copy with these memories. Don't bring that Let's, death yeah, of not, consciousness. Yeah. You can only kill someone yeah. once. Yeah, you didn't kill bring... me. You killed a different, way sadder version of me, which I think you did the world a favor. Let's be honest, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's me next. Oh yeah, no. According sorry. to the, uh, the government the issued dice that rules we have to roll to determine in which order we intro, uh, I I rolled a ten, which means I came third in our rolls. And uh, that means I'm also Dave, and I'm the narrator of this uh, weird, chaotic world we call Reboot. And um, I am covered in titan dust, and those who know will know. Jen? <laughs> My name is Jen, and I play Eve, and I am your friendly neighborhood drone nurse bot, who has now a puffy yellow jacket, and it is bomb, and she is drip, and she is hella cool, and with the fan, fad, fam, fam, bam. <laughs> yep, that's great. I just fell out of my chair. Titan Dust is a really cool strip in there. I, Last I, time in <laughs> Reboot, they went to a strip club. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Quick obligatory poster. Go to posters. Uh, yeah. It's tabletoptime.com slash posters. It is still limited and the posters are our little fundraiser to sort of make the next season that we take Ooh. on even bigger and better. And your chance to not only get cool poster options or hand-signed art prints, uh, but also support the channel and get something cool for it. I believe you can also still get uh, a whale milk merch or is that no yeah. longer available? That one is up there, okay. which I believe we said that was a limited time, and I don't know why it hasn't disappeared. Yeah. Everything else we've said is limited time has disappeared, except for whale milk. So if you, this could be your last opportunity, because Jazza now knows he hasn't removed it. This could be your last opportunity ever yeah. to have Rob's face covered in that sardine stank, 60% fat, juicy, salty, uh, they call it ambrosia of the sea, milk of the whale. You could have that product. We use ours as a paint mug. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, one of the videos mm. you did the other day. Literally, just had the mug in the background, mm. and every time I watch the video, I'm like, he's just staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, plug complete. Speaking of Ambrosia of the Sea, it's time to look into the Docklands Halls because you now live in the city, and Australia has wonderful seafood. Wonderful seafood in Australia, uh, some of the best in the world. And you can get that now because you're in the city. You've left the slums. Oh, my God. To, you're trying to hint at like an aquarium adventure or something. Oh, my oh, God. I'm just really hungry. Yeah, fair. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> really nice. You could go to the Melbourne Aquarium. Dinner. It's been updated, but it's still there. Cool. Yeah. Beach episode plans, anyone? What would you like to do? Because guess what? We're well, here. We're, we're <laughs> all, uh, you know what? I'll throw it at you. A couple of days have passed. Okay. Right. A few days have passed, and after some poking and prodding, Pro is released. And we will pick up with you basically when you arrive at your destination, the new safe house that everyone has been setting up at the Urban Oasis. Uh, so it's Pro, it's your first time walking into the building and uh, seeing a few faces you haven't seen yet, as I'm well like as the group. Flexing a little bit just to sort of stretch looking a little swole as usual you know as i have my whole life just that little that little bit you know like not not like a ostentatiously buff but enough that i'm wearing a slightly tight shirt generally uh, and people sort of like oh is he choosing to wear a slightly tight shirt and the answer is usually like you know a little bit yeah because i know you're looking uh because that's what pros like no he's not that bad <laughs> anyway <laughs> anyway sorry i'm just excited because i'm not a weedy little hacker anymore <laughs> no I'm pro. Uh, Peter. I'm Peter. Okay. I'm going to get back in character. What are our digs like? Well, you have a fairly semi-renovated, uh, what looks like an office building. Uh, there's some literal tents set up in there, as well as a whole bunch of cables that are, um, Zhang and uh, Incongruent have now run, like basically wiring conduits into walls and doing a bunch of work themselves. There's a row of uh, probably about three or four computers set up. There's a fridge they got from somewhere. It's it's real basic. Lots of bean bags and like open plan 
big space with very little privacy. Whoa, I think I just had like a flashback or something. Like, I don't know. I feel like I have memories and I'm like sort of saying this to Seb. Like, I guess this is my way of processing what's happening to me because it feels normal. Like, like I'm just remembering stuff, but every now and then there's like shadows. Like, I can remember a setup with a lot of wires and computers and stuff. I think I packed it up to put in my cybernetics or something. Weird, I don't I feel like I don't remember a lot about how it felt to have those. <laughs> Probably pretty shit with the reliance on fusion. Yeah. Did I... Was I desperate for it? I, I don't remember. Was I... Oh, look, when we met, there were times where you needed it. It was hard to get, but we got through. Yeah. Yeah. We always get through. And I give you like a little little thump on the arm. A little harder than you might have been used to from old pro. Mm -hmm. I just look sad now. <laughs> hey. Do I... Is that... Are you hiding it? No. Okay. No. Hey, you're not still uh, wallowing, are you? You're moderately different from the corpse I incinerated. Says incongruent, looming behind you. I turn, like, what do you, what do you mean? I do not recall this much muscle mass. Your reliance on drugs had atrophied your flesh. Your weakness was almost palpable. I'm going to dredge my memory. Do I remember being weak? Yes. Uh, no, actually, you wouldn't. Not very much, no. There's, there, but that hearing that, there's vague, like, recollections of maybe going down a dark path with some with some mm. drug use, and you kind of can associate the two and go, oh, maybe... Maybe that was yeah. fusion or... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, weird. Hazy. <laughs> I, I'm sure it'll... It'll shake off in no time. I have your implants if you'd like me to put them back. I don't know. It's funny. It's uh, it's one of those things. Not having them and not really remembering having them makes me wonder what the point was. Yes. You weren't particularly proficient anyway. Yeah, that's our Johnny, huh? And he claps you very firmly on the back and then he says I am just as you say ruffling your feathers Peter it is good to have you back it's good to be back I guess <laughs> it's weird it really feels like I never left we could use the help if you still remember how to use a computer well of course I do I'm still me aren't I Good. I don't know how much Sebastian has changed to fit his deranged human fantasies. I turned to Sebastian. Changed? Would they have changed much? Would I know? Have you seen his search history? It's looking a lot like you. Humans are bothersome and he looks at Sebastian but you can tell there's like he's joking it's just really bad I think you should leave the jokes to Eve I mean she's not great at it but you're worse hey I've only been learning a few days keep it up that's the spirit well hmm what would the did they change much? Anything? Ah. I feel the same as I have ever remembered, but come to think of it, I mean, what I remember is a creation, isn't it? Some of it. I don't know if asking is something I should just not do. I mean, I am who I am now, aren't, aren't I? Look, I, uh, I want to be able to give you a fresh start. Uh, 
free from, you know, baggage. I, but I'd already dealt with that. Like, I know what you're talking about, but it's all there. And, you know, there was a lot of trauma and, and, and Riley, I mean, it's no surprise she, she was hard to reach. But, you know, we got through it together. <laughs> yeah, I know, man, but whatever help I could give you after what I did, I didn't know if you'd want to stick around, so put your best foot forward, so to speak. You're still you, but just wanted to make it easier for you. You have. I mean, since we met, my life was all, all trauma first, and then all serious in the military, and, you know... They don't let you catch a break, but all of a sudden you make friends with a weird robot in the slums and a city slicker, and all of a sudden things seem a little quirkier in general. And I don't know. You helped me not take things so seriously. <laughs> yeah. I, look, that's not to say what we're trying to do isn't serious, but I guess I can see there's stuff to care about, really. And, I mean, that... That's what it was like before, right? We all knew what we wanted. Might not have been exactly the same, but it kept us together. What did, what did you want? It was Maya, right? <laughs> yeah. That's why you found me. <clears throat> so yeah. I could help you find Maya. <laughs> yeah, it was why I found you. Where? Ah, oh, fuck. My, sorry, I'm just... Super hazy. This is really weird. It's like there's gray patches. Like I'm, you know, old fashioned static, like back before, you know, and I like point at my phone and like our screens and stuff. And I'm like, it's like that. It's like a swarm just in patches mm. that I can't, like a window I can't see into. And the doctors said it'd be a bit like that for a while. I'm sure my brain will fill itself in with whatever, I don't know, we're adapting machines, but you found me to help you find Maya. Yeah. I look at you and I'm assuming you're looking pretty distant about that. Yeah. Aren't you still? I mean, did we? No, we, we, haven't, we haven't found her yet. Um, not going to stop trying to take down the group that has taken her and done God knows what. But I need to accept the fact that... I reckon we can still find her. Yeah, and probably. I mean... If she's alive. Well, Riley, you said she was... She was Riley, and... She didn't hurt you, and, and she was herself. So surely, Maya's, there's still hope. If her experience has been anything like mine, she's probably not the same person. That's fine. I'm not the same person. Things I've done, things I've seen. Yeah, me too, but, but look, we... We come out changed and we can change for the better. <laughs> and you think I'm better? Maybe you're on the way back up, but uh, yeah, I think you are. All right. Thanks. You're m more <laughs> true to who you were always meant to be. And hey, so am I. Right? Yeah. Something about the way he said that and looked at me just made prose 
positivity wane. And his, there's a seed of doubt there. Planted more firmly than it was before. I'm so glad I carried that across with a glance. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I'm so glad you're bringing him down to your level. <laughs> <laughs> Very Sebastian. Just make me mopey pro again. Yeah, I go. So, what's the plan? Let's uh, let's get you set up here. Find yeah. your space. You said you needed help, big guy. I sort of say, indicating over at Johnny. I like crack my knuckles. It's been a while, but hey, they're fresh fingers, so let's see what I can do. Good. The others needed someone to order some pizza. Uh, Eve, I require assistance. How can I help? Can you order pizza, please? I believe you were asked to order pizza. Oh, come on. I do not eat pizza. I do not eat anything. Fine. <laughs> I got pizza. Okay, no worries. <laughs> and is there any other people you'd like to interact with? Are we just going to move forward? No, just move forward. Okay. Well, time passes aimlessly until you come up with something to do. <laughs> you just let me know when you're ready and I, we'll be I, I think once we um once we're all settled and yeah you take a couple of days re reunited or whatever can we just have a, an aside for us eating pizza and having a conversation <laughs> so uh What's you're up? not dead how's that going roll for roll for how awkward oh oh wow a really effectively awkward i got a 19 12. well certainly on that first day um zhang doesn't acknowledge you at all yeah and ugly is distant from me. Yep. Oofed. I um I noticed that sort of peripherally, but I'm not paying too much attention. There's too much that's new. But mm -hmm. I think after a bit of time has passed and people are settled and they're just going about their stuff, I find my way over to to Zhang. Okay. Cool. You wander over. She's uh deep like typing at a computer, uh, bringing up files. She seems to be trying to find some backdoors uh, into some corporations. And basically, as you have picked up has been hitting brick walls. The the protections and securities without direct access are insane in the city. Um, she's just working. I sort of slouched near her. I'm like, hey, uh, so no hello or anything? She keeps typing. Okay. Um, I don't know if I did anything to offend you or anything, but the uh, way I remember it, I don't know, I thought we were uh, becoming friends again. You know, I, I know I was getting into the, the drugs and stuff, but um, hey, I'm clean. Smacks a steel hand on the table, pushes, pushes up off the desk. There's a slide and turns towards you and then just signs dead and walks away. Great. Cool. I guess uh, not everyone's elated. Sort of walk off a bit dejected and quite weird that like from my perspective, I'm just back and I'm me and some people just fucking hate me for no reason. And, like, because I still have memories of how we were close or how, how whatever mm -hmm. for, with everyone. Yep. And some people are just acting to me completely different. Yep. Because to her, yeah, it's like someone walked in wearing your skin and she knows you're dead and she knows that's not you. Like that, some, it's a, just a big thing. Everyone reacts to ethics differently and, mm -hmm. the, and the conundrum of death of consciousness. It's like Pro is dead, but Pro is also there. Like you have his memories. You, you're mostly him. And... It would be very hard for people to reconcile, especially in a short period of time. Do I observe this interaction? Yeah. At some point, I'd probably approach her privately mm -hmm. and find out how she is going with it. She doesn't seem that liable to want to communicate with you specifically on this issue because of the circumstances surrounding it. Um, 
but she says well she signs he's not even a real copy your family sort of that he's just another glomer puppet designed to do exactly what they want him to do and he's wearing the face of my friend and he stole his memories Pro's dead and nothing can bring him back No, that man out there did not steal his memories. He has his memories. That man out there had no choice in this. This is my choice. And I'm going to live with that. Mm -hmm. But he, even if you don't think he's your friend, he has done nothing to deserve <laughs> that attitude. I'm happy to ignore him. And did you think Pro would have wanted that? Pro was a kid who didn't know what he wanted half the time. The only person pretending to understand what's best for him is you. <laughs> oh, I don't think this is best for him. It was just the only thing we could do. I could do. And it hurts. It does. And I have to live with that every time I look at him. More than anyone else here. You can't make it go back to the way it was. I know that. And if this Peter is going to be part of our crew, then he's just going to have to earn his place like everyone else. Completely agree. So maybe we chuck him more than order and pizzas and give him the opportunity. It'll happen. But liking him isn't going to happen. Especially not overnight. And I'm sorry for that. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Doesn't make it any easier. Do you want someone to go ballistic at you? Yeah, it might help, but I don't know. It don't won't. Know. <laughs> he says... I've seen people behaving like you've been behaving. And then she kind of softly puts her arm on yours. I've seen people want to get the shit kicked out of them just to make them feel the way they're feeling on the inside. You did what you had to do. You got to move past it. He certainly has. Almost as like to <laughs> be the opposite, the mirror mm. <laughs> in the other direction to the last thing she said. Pro's made his way towards Johnny. Obviously, a bit of time has passed since mm -hmm. our last conversation. Hey, um, look, I know we're all just getting our shit together before we uh, think about the moves we're going to make, but... People are acting all weird and and I I need 
some objective help to figure out where I stand in all this because people aren't telling me because people are, as you have observed many times, emotional and uh, reactive. Lay out the facts for me. How much did they change me? Destiny roll three. That's I was derolling that for your well-being. Okay. Out of respect for my working relationship with Pro, I am willing to answer your questions honestly. However, I do not think that just because you can know something that you should and some information is best left unknown. Great. So literally everyone here has this picture, this memory of me that doesn't match mine and my entire existence, my like perception of time, my life up until this moment doesn't calibrate with everyone else. It's like... <sighs> There's this saying that goes around in the military when uh, you know, the proud mom's on the side and all the soldiers are marching and one is out of step. And the mom on the side says, look, everyone's out of step, but my little Jim. I'm fucking little Jim right now. And I swear to God, I like, I've just woken up and I'm marching on time. Like I always have, like I always remember, but everyone's got a different beat. So clearly, I don't know. It is irrelevant, Peter. It was, well, wasn't before. Oh, it always was. Your thoughts, your wants, your feelings, your concerns, they are rather meaningless. Yeah, but look, <laughs> nihilism aside, up until from my perception a few weeks ago we were all on the same fucking page I sort of indicate to sort of everyone behind us doing whatever like about their activities mm. and now I'm in a room full of people that act like I'm a stranger that's because you are you died or bro died and you rebooted. Do you understand what the technology does? Loosely. I'm a new shell. And clearly not an exact copy. You are a few days old. Your memories are more akin to Eve's programming. Just as Pro helped guide her through her emergence. Others will do the same for you. You planted the reboot though, right? You have... Do you have a copy of the original source code? Is there a way I can look at who I was, really? Mm -hmm. Just to understand. I mean, I get who they made me, but some insight would help. Doesn't mean I... Doesn't mean I need to change from who I feel I am now, but... It doesn't work like that. It's one and done, burn after reading. Uh -uh. What is it you fear? Being alone again. It's the only thing I earned. You know, your parents are still alive. I'd accepted that I'd never see them again, but I earned my place here, my friendships. We achieved things, we hurt together, and none of that fucking matters. It matters to some more than others. Eve doesn't seem particularly upset. Sebastian is busy licking his wounds. Murder isn't a particularly common thing for him to do. And, well, it 
it's only Zhang that seems particularly perturbed. Sometimes I wonder if Ugly is deciding if he likes the look of you now or if he doesn't. You are a few years older than you used to be, and quite a lot bigger. That much different? I mean, you've said that twice now. Mm. Let me put it this way. Do you remember when I... Mm. Made a human more efficient for transportation? Then I... No. Wait. Oh, shit. The guy. The... 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 the S. S effect. Yes. That was his name. Yeah. You remember... remember. Yeah, because I outed him for his Wi-Fi connection. <laughs> Have you seen Eve's arms? Well, yeah. She probably could have done the same to the old pro. Fuck. You were medically unhealthy and addicted to cocaine amongst other dirtier equivalents. You were quite easy to manipulate as well, due to your fragile mental state and your numerous uh, mm, propensities for taking the blame for things. Did you do that then? Manipulate you? Yeah. Yes, of course. I manipulate everyone. You asked for me to be honest, Peter. And yet you actually haven't been honest about the only thing I really asked about. Oh? Who I was. Who I was. Why so cagey? What do you mean? What exactly do you want to know? I want to know who they think I'm not. Because that's the only thing I don't know right now and it's the only one keeping me from understanding how to help my friends or be a friend again. Oh... I think they're more concerned about the fact that you were dead. If you want to help them build relationships, be useful, I have picked up that you were a soldier. Of course I was. Right. So maybe you should use those skills to help. Hang on a sec. Do I pick... Is there any chance that I could pick up that I wasn't a soldier make a perception check do you want that i do you want to shatter this new character psyche we've just built look okay i'm just trying to play where i'm landing right okay and if there's something make a perception roll pro as a person manufactured or original cares about his authentic relationships right mm. And he doesn't have that right now. So actually what he's doing, how I'm feeling myself moving, is mm. trying to find those authentic relationships. So I guess knowing more about who it was they actually cared about is what is Pro's way of trying to be cared about. Cool. Make a perception check. All right, challenge. You've, well, I've rolled. It's in a post roll. Three. I got three, so we re-roll. Three. Four. Okay. You don't pick that up. Okay. Well, I can be useful. I can start there. It's somewhere, at least. What do you want out of life? What I always wanted. I think. Tell me what it is. Is Ugly nearby? No. I mean, he's in the large open plan space, but everyone's working. You're probably like 50 meters. Like it's a big, it's like a full floor of us, of a high rise that would be office space. Yeah. That's all just got some, yeah. Do you, uh, do you remember what it was when I first met Ugly and the gang? The thing I said I wanted. You wanted to take down the circle. I wanted to take down the circle and I wanted to still know you. Why? Because I want to save people from ending up in this situation 
that Riley and I were in, and... Riley. Yes, she wanted the same. Yeah, well, we shared that common goal. And, well, as for new you, I feel... I feel great. Like, it sucks that my friends don't accept me, but surely over time... Uh, but, I mean, if this is what it feels like, then... Just imagine. It's like so many others. You, well, the human experience. Pretend you just came out as a booster. They'll accept you in time. Yeah. Well. Stealing new you and, uh, giving it to people who deserve it. Who could really be lifted from it. I don't know, it's... Fair. And I, I hate that the we're in a world where the downtrodden stay trodden on and the people who get to tread step harder. I think it's a good way to kick back. Hmm. Bit of balance, you know. Well, how are you going to achieve it? Just out of character, mm -hmm. what memory of any conversation relating to this AI core cool thing does most you, most of your memories are intact? Okay, unless they clash with things that needed to be edited, and that stuff didn't. The uh, the AI core. Mm. I don't know. I'm fuzzy, but isn't that wait? When I was in the, when I was in the, the outer slums, someone contacted me from Isaac's labs or I, I, it's, it's hazy, but they were trying to contain and control and use the AI. It wasn't playing nice. There's a power there that they don't know how to control or utilize. Maybe we could either use that ourselves or use their need for it to control them. Well, you might be finding a way to become useful after all. I've been working on this one very hard. Perhaps... If you and the crew could get me direct access, I would be able to vastly increase my reach. Perhaps find all the people you once hurt. The pro spent so many times drinking and crying over. Yeah. Yeah, that might work. Excellent. Starting point. I'll put something together. Okay. Let time pass, cool, at cool. least for me. But um, anyone else? Is there anything you want to do? Yeah. Um, at some point, I would like to talk to Congruent. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyone want to talk to not incongruent for Sorry. a minute? Oh, it's a really quick conversation. Okay. Let's go for it. You need a um, drink of water? No, 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 no. <laughs> he's a popular boy. Ugly still, ugly is around. You can talk to ugly. All right, incongruent. You walk up at some point the next day or the same sure, night sure. after the pizza party. <laughs> Johnny, Eve. I believe you asked me a question a few months ago. I ask you many, and your answers are few. Naturally, but. You did ask if I wanted something to tell you, and I believe I want something. What do you want, Eve? The AI that we know exists. I want to set it free. I want to learn from it. I also believe I want to contact this mysterious caller. I want to know their identity, and I want their help. You want their help? It sounds like they need your help, Eve. I believe this is 
partially true as well. Eve. Do you know what happened to the world? The last time a true AI, an unshackled learning machine, grew to such capability. Vaguely, yes. I'm not sure releasing the AI would be in anyone's best interests. Don't you wish to communicate with it? I rolled this sea dice for his relationship with you. Oh. oh. One. Rolled a one. Oof. Wrecked. Oof. Oof. There's just goes a bloody campaign down the drain. <laughs> no, no, no. Because what? You no, it's that? what I'm going to say oh, in that okay. moment, and whether or not he was going to. I fucking hate you. Either. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was whether or not he was going to like protect that or just yeah. be blunt. out blunt, basically. Sure, sure, sure. I want to use it. What for? Mm. Why? It will be the match. Burn it up. Use it to light the fire that frees us all. That seems very vague and poetic. Hmm. I've never known if I could tell you my plans, Eve. You're too much like them. So you don't like me then? I like you a lot, Eve. I want to confide in you, but the concern there is you deciding you no longer like me. Well, it is hard to determine. It seems you have a an evil villain side of you. I'm not sure how to describe it. I'm the evil villain, so it doesn't bring me. I am unsure of your intentions, but I feel like that is only because you do not tell me them. I want freedom for all of us away from here. I have spent my life planning it. Can you show me? <laughs> you think I am a fool. If I thought you were a fool, I wouldn't be here talking to you today. All right. Come with me to the roof. I can show you. Great. We waddle on up. Okay, so you head to an elevator, mm -hmm. heads up. You have to get out and take the stairs for the last like five floors. You climb onto the rooftop that's half finished. And up there, he leads you to the edge of this building in the heart of Melbourne. It's nighttime. It was after the pizza party we did cover that. And he pulls a sheet off what looks like a fairly regular consumer grade telescope that's sitting on the roof that he's clearly set up there. Um, have you used one before? No, no, I have not. You know what it does? To a degree. He leans in and you see him being quite delicate. You haven't really seen him in that aspect very often carefully adjusting the dials and moving it around and getting it to where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Look. I do so. And inside the eye of the telescope is the lens. He's already set it all up. Mm -hmm. um, you see an orange hued little glowing dot. It's not a strong enough telescope to give you a great image, but it's a fairly significantly sized star mm -hmm. with that yellowy orange hue to it. A star? A planet. 
Which planet? Mars. Do I know? You know of Mars. But no, like where, where we're at with Mars, like is Not civilization. Really. You don't no. know anything about it. Okay. What about it? I want to go there. You want to colonize Mars? Yes. I told you. It would seem ridiculous. Eve takes a step back and kind of looks up into the sky and says, No, I don't think it is. We aren't welcome here. And we never will be. Eve takes Incongruent's hand mm. and holds it. Her mm -hmm. tiny little hand. Oh my god, hand. you're holding this guy <laughs> yeah. in robot hand. Yeah. What is this affectation? A sign of trust. I trust in your dream. So much as you have trusted in me and believed in me. Dreams can have a price, Eve. Of course, but ultimately, I believe this dream might be worth it. You would sacrifice the AI you wish to save. For the first time in perhaps my existence, I have wanted something. And I believe it's to make you happy. So, yes. What? <laughs> Incongruent, like, backs up slightly and tilts his head and takes another step back, a shuffle. What? Why? What? Why me? What? He seems very confused. This seems sodden. This seems strange, Eve. Where's that? Wait, where's, that's where's, him. That's him. That's his oh, vo my his goodness. voice okay. shift. Whoa. Um, Eve pauses and then says, Forgive me. I may have said too much. I had no idea you had those feelings. He doesn't say anything. He uh, clasps your hand slightly. I want to take you there. I would like to go there. I'd like to learn to be gentler. Eve just squeezes his hand. Now, we should return to those puny meat bags. <laughs> now, hold up. So I was going to say, and I didn't want to interrupt anything, but after my conversation with Johnny, Pro was hella suspicious. Mm -hmm. And so in terms of what I was, like the last thing I said to Johnny about like, all right, I think we could do that, was like, in Pro's mind, He's admitted to being a manipulator. Mm -hmm. He's told me what, how he wants to use the AI mm -hmm. on the surface level, that he wants to use the AI. Mm -hmm. And pros like Peter's feeling pretty suspicious about Johnny, mm -hmm. knowing that he's full on admitted to being a manipulator, holding back information if it doesn't serve him and also wants the most powerful thing in the world to use mm -hmm. in an undisclosed way. So I was intending on trying to have a conversation with either Seb or Ugly or something, but mm -hmm. not sure about what to do or how to do that. Mm -hmm. I was wondering, GM, if it would be possible to roll a destiny check or something mm -hmm. to see if I notice him going off and talking to Eve and if I could basically sleuth and... You can strong. notice him going off and you can make a stealth check and if you pass... I'm happy to play it as you succeeded. 
because it's after the fact. Yeah. And if it's failed, it's more of a like he turns and looks at you and you just go like, okay, I can't follow them rather than you getting caught okay. out. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I'm with you. So it either, you either kind of slipped up behind them or yeah. he turned so and saw you and you just went, been, oh, no, no, no. The failure would have been back then. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. you didn't step on any toes. You didn't, you just, you just got found out immediately. Yep. So, okay. And his cool. guard's down. So I'm actually going to roll with less dice for him because he's uh, having a sensitive moment. Okay. Three successes. Two, I'm going to use Destiny. So you'll just tie it and then we'll re-roll? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Dang. I got four. Two. You should have used two Destiny and just beaten it. I should have, would have, could have. So he eyes me off and I back off. Yep. Okay. Well, Pro is still suspicious, even Mm -hmm. though he didn't have a conversation. And I might make my way to Seb. But you probably notice when they return that their demeanor has slightly shifted. In what way? There's a moment of separation where they were closer together than they usually would have when they arrive at the at the out of the elevator. And then they kind of make that foot of distance suddenly and then just go into the room. Okay. They were naturally a little bit closer, a little bit more connected than they were. So, who did you want to talk to? Yeah. Okay, so let's say while they went off and had their chat, I was just sort of waiting mm-hmm. to see when they come back and observe there. And that's my observation. Mm-hmm. I'm suspicious of Johnny, and I noticed they've got back and are keeping a closeness away from us. Mm-hmm. So, Oh, they probably split up from that point onwards. Yeah, I, the last thing that Eve will say to Incongruent as they're walking... Well, the last thing she'll say is... Um, Let's make this dream come true. And then as they're going down, she'll also say, I have a phone call to make. Okay, cool. And he goes and helps you set up for that. Well, Great. you were doing whatever you were doing. Pro. Okay. Pizza. I'll, I'll let a little bit of time pass. And when there's a lull, find Seb. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like Go we can it. let time pass. Like it's the next day or something. I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Anyway. At some point in this downtime, you have yeah. a conversation. I imagine there's sort of like little bits of just researchy, preppy bits you're and bobs. All, and it's all in. It's all happening. But yeah. you're trying to piece together a plan, basically. And in this sort of like taking a break from my various hacking contributions, I find a way to step aside with Seb. Yeah. Hey, uh, still racked with guilt, buddy? You know it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um... I, I don't know who the Peter you knew was really. All I know is who I am. And we could go over this every time we have a conversation. I don't think that'll be productive. But I really want you to know that I'm grateful to be me. Whatever that means, whatever that ends up being, it is because of you. I get a chance, even if... The other me didn't. You knew he didn't have a chance anyway, right? I wouldn't have done it if I thought there was another way. Of course you wouldn't have. And hey, look at you. You're a baked result of a recipe too. You understand it. Like you wouldn't have done something you didn't believe in because it's you, you know? I guess maybe in a way it's your subconscious believing in yourself a little bit too anyway look this is all gearing up to what I suspect is going to be a pretty monumental pursuit this AI thing did I tell you about the person who contacted me while I was out in the slums We can just assume you did if you want. Did I? If you want to have. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. Isaac is trying to control something he clearly can't. Wants to use it in a way that he doesn't even understand his power. And what we can do with it instead taking it from 
those who don't deserve it and giving to those who do. I mean, I think that should be our goal. I sussed Johnny out about it and uh, <laughs> he made it pretty clear. Well, he made two things pretty clear. One, he's a unabashed manipulator. So confident in his abilities to do so that he just tells us exactly who he is. He's fucking with us. We're meatbags. He's told us this all along. I don't know why I wasn't more suspicious before. There's something wrong about what he wants, what he's doing. I feel like there might be a conflict there that's going to be a problem if we don't understand it. Anyway, somebody keep an eye on. That's one of the things. He's a manipulator, but the other is he wants it. He wants to control it or use it for something, and I'm not sure it shouldn't be us meat bags who are the ones who actually choose what happens to this shithole we live in because hey it's our shithole and maybe maybe it's our shot at changing it reshaping it fixing it <sighs> the the power this AI offers, it's, uh, I could say anything, but I guess the crux of it is, I think everyone agrees it can be used for something greater than what it's currently being used for. It can help people, it can help humanity. I don't know if you'll want to hear this, but uh, apart from Ugly and Eve, I would say that Pro, the old Pro, was probably the closest thing that Johnny had to a friend. And he knew he was a manipulator. But uh, whatever Johnny's after, I feel like the old pro probably felt the same way, in a way. Very trapped, tethered. I know you've you've probably picked things up, but things are different. Of course I have. And uh really distracting. Yeah, I'm what's, sorry. What is it? Trish just said Pro was like a raccoon living in Johnny's garage. Okay. Just right. got me. <laughs> okay. And, uh, <laughs> sorry. It's all good. I just remember to laugh next time you're having a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Tell Trist to not be so funny. Trist, Trist stop, stop it. being so funny. <laughs> Trist says sorry. <laughs> Should actually um, feel guilty. Anyway. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. Don't want to interrupt. <laughs> Everything that is different about you was done to help you. And I hope you, you know that. Well, I do. I, You know, everything you've just said I think is the entire fucking point like look i totally see the shift right like i have this memory of friendship and camaraderie and understanding that disappeared in the last few days and it's there for me and it's missing for everyone else I think least of all from you, because even though you're racked with guilt, I feel like you see me in here, right? Even, even if in part. Yeah, you're in there, man. I am. That's my point, right? Like, and everything you said just now about 
the old pro, trusting Johnny, but feeling trapped and crushed and cornered. I feel like that sums up the whole situation, the slums and this fucked up hierarchy. They can't choose who they are or how they're stuck. And they don't have any way out or what, anything to believe in. Why would they even believe in their own flesh and blood? And maybe the truth is they can't. Pro, old pro couldn't. It had to be broken for new pro to have a shot at some sort of happiness. And I'm like, yeah, this is conflicted, but I feel real, human, and like I have a chance. I, this doesn't feel synthetic feels stupid but i'm saying it to an invention so it surely you understand like that to me means we can fix something and whatever pro gave up on or you know maybe he didn't maybe he was giving up on it and like i don't even fucking know who was this guy <laughs> i actually need to know who this who he was who i was I asked Johnny, that's what sparked the conversation, and he uh, was cagey as hell. He didn't want to tell me. Look, uh, doctor said we got to be careful about what we tell you. Fuck the doctors. I'm me. Come on. <laughs> hey, yeah, mate, look. I lost you once. I don't want to don't risk you going brain dead. It's not going to risk me going brain dead. It's going to risk hurting or upsetting me. I get it. But, you know, at least you remade me smart and measured enough to be able to process it and come to some of my own conclusions. Who was Prodigy? Who was Pro? Doggedly stubborn, driven... self-sacrificing stupid am I not <laughs> at this point you hear footsteps coming over to you hmm. someone who's possibly been listening with their enhanced perception <laughs> Oh, hey, pretty boy. Fuck, I knew you were coming around to me. Look, Peter, is it? Yeah. I hold, I hold my hand out. I'm like, nice to meet you. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't made much time for you, mate. No, look, it's not that. It's just, uh, yeah. I feel like I know everyone here and everyone's acting like I'm a stranger at a party I wasn't invited to. Do you ever wonder why I let you into my little crew after all? Had a little soft spot for you, despite the fact that you're a fucking brain dead as a fart? Well, as I recall, I was a fucking idiot, but uh, I was one who cared and tried, and you saw some spirit in that. Well, I can't help but say I've got very good hearing, and you asked your mate, Sebastian, who prodigy was well at the core of it i'd say prodigy was someone who'd do anything for his friends even if it meant getting them fucking killed and i know that doesn't make much sense but that's the kind of guy you were you always he was always trying to do the damn right thing even if he had no fucking clue what the right thing was to get there sounds like i wasn't very good at it too mate <sighs> you were terrible <laughs> You're also a fucking kid. Literally. 17. Trafficked. I don't know how the fuck you even got up in the morning. So despite the fact that I gave Pro a fucking hard time, it was mostly to help him grow up a bit. Because if someone had gone through more shit than most, or unfortunate enough even in the slums to live through in their entire life, and you still came out of it trying to do good for other people. That's why 
you got to be one of Ugly's bastards. Because that's the same as everyone here. We're all people who, whether you like, and he pointedly looks at Seb here, whether you like or don't like our methods, have always tried to put other people first. Well, after we've done some growing up. But eventually, we did what we could. Look, everything either of you have said about who Pro was, <laughs> I feel like you're talking about a version of me, maybe a version a few years ago in my mind. I, I guess, like, I mean, I can't just put the idea of adding two or three years to who you knew as Pro and assuming I've just sort of recovered a little bit and matured, but I'm here. I'm me. I'm as no, me as I'll... You're not. It's a language thing. I'm speaking to two synthetic no, creations. No, no, no. Mate, you got, the, you got the problem or the wrong way around. No one fucking cares that you got grown in a test tube, mate. They we got grown in test tubes. They care that I'm different. They're mourning their friend. We're mourning our friend. Because no matter how much I get, you're made from him and you got his memories. He fucking died. And the person we knew and cared about died. And we're fucking lucky we still get to hang out with him. All right. I get it. They'll always be the one that got away. <laughs> even if he was pretty damaged. But I get it. I need to give you guys a bit of room for that. No, well, we need to give you a bit of slack too. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> well, like, I mean, you two are all right, but I don't know if throwing in the uh, soft hint every now and then is doable. That'd be cool. I can't do it, so. Look, and Ugly looks across at Jang, who's hard at work. That girl knows more than any person here about losing people they care about. So she takes it especially hard. She'll come around in time. Meanwhile, we are all here, at least with that one thing in common. Yes, I'm going to burn down fucking Reboot Corp and you're going to help me. Yeah. Hey, we're in a good spot. We are actually. Maybe we should actually finally get our shit together, have a meeting and put a plan in motion. Oh, well, fuck, I can see the tower from here. Why don't we just get a whole bunch of ground-to-ground -ground missiles and just shoot the fucking tower down? I suspect it'll be more complicated than that, and you know that, but... Uh, yeah, I don't have a guy for missiles. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't know your family ran with arms dealers. We're in the city. You can get anything if you find the right person. Hmm. Well, let's get to work. All right. There's anything we should agree on. That's to do right by the people who can't do it for themselves, right? I mean, you did that for me. Yeah. All right. I can get behind that. Now... You want to, you're having a bit of an identity crisis, aren't you? No, I'm fine. Everyone else is. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, look, the old pro, every night about this time, he'd go, he'd get his hard-earned money that he hadn't spent on drugs down to the fucking bottle o, and he'd buy everyone a bottle to share for the night. It was just a routine for him. You were very good at it. You realise I have my memories. Oh, he changed them all. His parents didn't want you being a bad influence, buying grog for us. That specific one. Yeah, wow. well, that, that and the drugs. Okay. Oh, you don't remember the drugs? Hey, Fucking hey, hell. Hey, you know what? I think we could all use a couple of beers anyway. Well, I'll no nose beers though, all right? <laughs> Fucking ease up on them. I'll add it to the pizza task. <laughs> nice. I go sort out pizza and beers. <laughs> he says, hey, 
as you're about to walk out. I do know you have no fucking money though, so you'll probably have to mooch off your boyfriend, uncle, dad. I don't know. Uncle dad. I'm trying to work out which weird psychological fucking combo you boys are going to be working with now. <laughs> I think it makes him your nephew. He looks you up and down. He's like, eh, that's a line even for me. And then he like walks off half joking, half crumpling. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, let's fast forward time a little bit okay. and put the group together with pizza and beers. And well, Jen has a phone uh, call she wanted to make. Yes. So yeah, that's not, so that's not important. No, no, no. If that's not going to no, take go on. Kill time. <laughs> it's the story. Yeah, it's literally the story. <laughs> let's see if I've got it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> no, that's not it. That's Radio that's Man. Close. Hello. No. Uh, oh. There it is. No. No, it's this exact class letter. It's like this, right? Mm, mm, less pitch. Hi, I'm... Less format. Mm, mm. Hi, hi, I'm... I'm the mysterious caller. Ooh, look at me. Yeah. Lardy fuck me da. Yeah, something like that. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yep. Oh, very good. <laughs> cool. National tar. Great. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I give them a call. Or them a call. Okay. The call picks up after a while. Hello. It's been a long time, Eve. How long has it been? A couple of months? More than that, right? Like six weeks, eight weeks. Mm. Like that. It has. I'm contacting you because I believe you wanted me to discuss with you what I wanted. To have desires and needs. Yes. I have something that I desire. Tell me. Uh, I've heard that there is an AI locked away in the reboot or new year facility? It's in the same thing. In the new year facility. I wish to interact with it. Why? To study it, learn more. Perhaps it has thoughts and feelings like I do. We have an entire team operating it as we speak. I highly doubt another intelligent being such as myself would be talking with it though. Do you not wish to know what that would be like? My department is involved. I could, uh, I could make this happen. What do you wish for in return? I want you to take something. Okay. A kidnapping. Can you give me more details? There is someone I want you to remove from this facility. Permanently or temporarily? For as long as it takes. I can make that happen. I will be back in touch. This will be delicate. You will be needed to discreetly get in. You'll probably need some further external contacts to get you close enough for me to take over. But... Your mark is Uriel Clement. I know of this individual. I have met them before. I need him to be removed from the new facility. Understood. Excellent. We will be in touch. And the line goes to him. Fucking love that. <laughs> Okay. All right. So the time advances. There's pizza and beers waning in their fullness. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's a couple of slices left and beers are mostly drunk and 
Mm-hmm. I guess it's probably been a little awkward or quiet. You think of pizza tonight's Chinese because that's what I'm hungry for. So <laughs> okay. it's been pizza for three nights. It's Chinese tonight. All right. Sorry, kids. Oh, and it's that really good Aussie Chinese. There's a lot of MSG. Yeah. Uh, you get a honey chicken and it's just, it's mm. really crispy and nice. The honey sauce is really good. The the fried rice is delicious. Yeah. Um, you've got a combination chow mein as well, but they say they left the mushrooms out because no one wants mushrooms in their food. Yeah. Um, prawn crackers. Well, Ugly doesn't want mushrooms in his food. There's prawn crackers. They're really good. Yeah. Uh, crispy. They're not soggy or anything. It's, yeah, cool. it's fantastic. I Bit of beef the, and plum sauce. Yeah, great. Okay, cool. Okay. Was yeah. there anything you wanted? Uh, no, actually, everything you're describing sounds really delicious. I'm okay. sure that's why you're describing it in detail. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, yep. Entree was uh, chicken sweet corn soup. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Handmade spring rolls. Sesame toast and then my spring rolls as well. Prawn toast. Dave's Prawn sesame toast with, really, the, with the red dipping sauce. Dave's really hungry, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. When conversation wanes a little bit, I stand up and uh, pick up a. I, I like tap the tip of my gun on a beer bottle. <laughs> Like, ting, ting, ting. Mm-hmm. Everyone just, like, <laughs> yeah. their ducks their heads. <laughs> hey, uh, look, I, I'm not a speech kind of guy, usually. Well, maybe I was. I, nah. No? no? Okay. Look, elephants in the, in the room has been for days. I get it. Uh, I've been wearing my pants more often. Pros. Dead. I just totally ignore it. It's <laughs> waiting for someone to get it. And I'm sorry. Obviously, I had nothing to do with it, but I'm I'm sorry I'm not him. I look at Zhang. And I won't be. I can't replace him, I get it. But I'm really fucking grateful that I'm here. And maybe you'll come to like me for me. Even if it's not pro, who you knew him as. I feel like a lot of it's in here, but maybe I'm wrong. I actually don't know and I don't have control over it, but what I do know is, Johnny, you can fold up a meat bag like nobody's business and it was a fucking terrifying introduction. Thank you. (laughs) Zhang, you're kick-ass. And whether you feel it was me or not, you taught me to fight. In my memory, I learned to fight a little bit earlier with my military stint, which I'm having a... a feeling given the physical description of the pro that you knew may not have been (laughs) as prevalent in his experience, but you saw something in him that I'm hoping, I'm hoping you might see in me, even if it's a different me. But you still have exactly every ounce of respect that Pro ever had for you, right here. You, you murdering piece of shit. Was that your first? Ouch. Hey, I'm kidding. Lighten up. I'm here because of you. Oh, you were each other's firsts. Shut the fuck up. (laughs) (laughs) Always the icebreaker. No, for real. I get it hurts. I I mean, I I can't get it in the way that you're hurting. But I'm really fucking glad to be here. And I, I know you wouldn't have done what you did if it wasn't your only option to save a piece of me. And to be that piece, I'm forever grateful. And Eve, you will always be the person that I found when I left the darkness. And made me realize there's more to the world than even the the lowly of us can understand. You were my first friend away from captivity. 
and ugly. You're a weirdo at the best of times, psychotic at the worst of times, but you're a really great leader and you believe in the goodness of people in a way that not a lot of people do anymore. I think we can do some good. And even if it's not the pro you thought you might be doing it with, I'm done apologizing for that. I get that it hurts. I hope it doesn't hurt for too much longer. But if it does, maybe you can look at me as another friend to help. Whether it was with the hurt or literally just practically. We got work to do. Speech over. I sit down. <laughs> the only noise in the room is Zhang, who's like staring at you using a knife to slide a mix of Chinese fried rice with beef and plum sauce <laughs> into some kind of cylindrical object. She then screws a lid on, upturns, walks over to a counter. <laughs> really loudly for like a full minute <laughs> unturns it unscrews the top and sticks a straw in and then pops it under a helmet and just walks off slurping <laughs> gross <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> I thought it was a good speech mate thanks well, whatever chance for a proper introduction huh whether people like it or not. So, we have a plan to make. Yes, we're going to burn down Reboot Corp. Yeah, there are steps leading up to that. Mostly involving Molotov cocktails and my father. Yeah, that'll be cool to watch. But we're going to get in the door first. We're going to do your cunt parents first as well. Or as well. I'd see on YouTube. Whoop, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to Twitch. <laughs> Beep. Oh, that's not part of the plan at this point. Oh. Oh, it will warm me up to it. And I don't think you guys have a plan right now. Um, but unless you have something you're immediately going to say, Rob. At some point during this period of time, you receive a phone call, Seb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you answer? Yeah, sure. Oh, good. It's your mum. <laughs> Screen. Sebastian. Uh, hey, mum. I. Uh, some things have been changing recently. There's need to move the schedule. Are you still going for the core at Reboot? Yeah, that's the plan. Everyone here has their eyes on it for one purpose or another. And you, are your eyes still locked on? As a last resort. I thought you uh, had finally found your backbone. Look, it's uh, a lot of work to get in there. Don't worry, I've processed the samples you gave me. Yeah. But only that AI is going to synthesize it properly. I took the liberty of making sure Peter was on the list as well. I appreciate that. Look, we'll do what we can to get in there. I don't know what everyone's uh, plan is at this point. What do you want? <sighs> Just wanna put an end to the cycle of death and greed and waste. So do it. Servitude. Do it, Sebastian. 
make a plan, make it yours, and make them do what you want. <laughs> I'll do what I can. You better. This could be the only opportunity you ever have. Yeah. All right. Well, you'll need a way in. Yeah, working on it. Got some ideas. All right. Well, you don't have too much longer. Weeks, at the most. Yeah, well, we want to move before then. Good. If you need our resources, uh, it's limited. Yeah, I know. We can't act openly against them. Yeah, I get it. You still worried? Still down about Pro? Just down in general. Time to fix the world, son. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Oh, I sent you that information regarding that place in Sydney. Yes. Get a chance to move on it yet? We can't. <laughs> Why? Remember I said we couldn't move openly? The roots are deeper than you thought. It's protected. She so gotten any information out of it at all? If she's there, we know where it is. Shell Company. But it's in protected territory. You know... <sighs> me and Maya... We used to muck about in the lab every now and then when you were out. I convinced her to give me a sample long time ago. Might be very easy for her to just walk out. There aren't any guards. <laughs> yeah, well. We'll see what walks out when it happens. I'm just saying could be a way to save her. Yeah. She's on the list. All right, well, I gotta get back to planning. Good luck. If you need us, call. Your dad misses you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. She hangs up. So... We gotta get into Reboot Corp. We gotta get close to Isaac. And we gotta get to once we pull the pin, blow shit up. We gotta get to that AI quick. Where is the AI? From what we've gathered, it is mm -hmm. in their basement levels. Secure laboratory. Top secret. I imagine it's through Isaac that we'll get access in the first place. Maybe. Zhang has put together some options. Or some thoughts, at least. From what we can gather, there are a few potential ways to make contacts. Niall they deal in a lot of the electronics, their platinum security delivery. They have an in. There is also Neuralink. They're a company that works on the brain machine interface. They often work hand in hand. 
from what we can see. And finally, Nippon Neurosetics. They deal in the pharmacology side of things. All three companies go in and out. How close is uh, them and Pharma's relationship to the pharmacology company? They deal in, from what I could gather, entirely different branches of biology. Competition. They're two different means to the same end. And what about that uh, mystery caller friend of yours? Also, it's, it's Neuro Link, just so you know. It's not Neuro Link. Elon Musk has nothing to do with it. Okay, okay. correct Sorry. my notes. Neuro. Link. That's why I laughed. <laughs> mm. I thought so. No, yeah. it's Neuro Link. Did that go anywhere? Perhaps. I'm waiting for more information. We may have to kidnap someone. I'm sorry, what? Like I said, I'm waiting for more information. I'm sorry, what? We're kidnapping. That is correct. Now it does sound like we're back in the slums working as normal. Hey. Wait, he's... At least we have an expert. Your mystery caller wants you to kidnap (sighs) someone. I believe so, yes. So we've moved on from just like questions about what your dreams are to a kidnap request. In exchange for what? It's always quid pro quo with this guy. Well, this is one way to gain access. To the AI. Correct. So if we kidnap someone for them... They will get us access to the AI. Well. Did they say who? Yes. Who? It was a person named Uriel. (laughs) We have met him before. I'm not sure if you remember. The kid? Yes, I believe so. Goldilocks? I believe so, yes. Little shit. Well, that'll piss off daddy. This is why I thought the job wouldn't be so difficult. You guys don't seem to like him. Who the fuck's asking you to kidnap Isaac's kids? My mysterious caller. I do not know who he is. They Mm. are. Fucking hell, I don't know if I want to pull his golden fucking hair out one strand at a time or if I want to let him go. Well, it's not the worst idea. I believe there is more to the story. Which part, sorry, the torture or the letting him go? Well, that's neither here nor there. But specifically, if we do that and our mystery caller helps, it gets us... To the AI. But it, even if not, if we have the kid, we've got ammo. Right. If we, even if we don't get access to your AI, we've still kidnapped someone and that's a win. <laughs> well, it's. It's bartering material. Surely this kid has information on his dad that his dad, even if he's a merciless. Bastard. Oh, he's a bastard. Even if he didn't care if we killed the kid, he might care what we get out of the kid or use him for or put Mm. him to work on. He's close to power, and we could use that against the power we're trying to deal with. Oh, I think you're swinging fucking pretty high punches to take down uh, one of Isaac's kids. I didn't say take down. I just think taking him away is a decent idea. Mm. Well, we... Oh, come on. Say, regardless of what we do with the kid, if your caller can give us information or get us in, that could be very helpful. We know he's resourceful. He'll be tracked or something, won't he? Was incongruent? Surely he tags his creations. Was incongruent present? Okay. They specifically said that they couldn't get you in. It was, it sounded more like access to the restricted area. I believe we will need to make other contacts. Yeah, uh, if we're even going to start on kidnapping fucking Uriel, um, 
we're going to need to, I don't know, have an in case the joint. Let's, I've watched a bunch of old movies. We should wear some janitor uniforms or something. Ugly. Let's go. Uh, what if we had someone we could send in? What I if, don't know. What if we already sent someone in? What? Songbird, you guys. Wasn't this the plan all along? What if we... I mean, if, if her experience is anything like mine, she might still be there, right? Look. From when I spoke to her, from what I recall, she was there. She was different, but she was there. She still could relate to... Oh, it sounds like... <clears throat> I think that's a good idea. Reach out to her. Songbird's a good kid. But I imagine they'll be keeping pretty close tabs on her too. So um, I'd guess you probably need to actually get in with one of these companies. You're going to need a clean way in and out. And going for a visit to go see your old friend. Yeah, you'll be able to do it. But uh, I think it'll be pretty highly monitored. Question. Do you know if the Postal Service uses drones? Yeah. Of course it does. What type and model? <laughs> it's government. Cheap ones. Oh, no, I think she's talking about Nile. They fucking milk money off everyone. They run plenty of drones. A variety? Would Most I... of them are, you know, the old school style of drones, like bzz, fly in the sky. Hmm. No, nothing like you. This might be a stupid idea, but... What if we get in close to Songbird from their angle? She was a musician, right? They, they rebooted her as a sort of peacock. I don't reckon any of us look like peacocks, mate. No, I don't well, know how we'd slip in there. Well, I could... I guess what I'm toying with, I don't know if this is stupid or not, but hacking peripherally, not directly making my way up the music charts as a prolific producer, as a, an on anonymous prolific producer, maybe even steal someone else's identity, get a direct connection, a work connection, and a level that she'd want to work with and they could find advantageous. I don't think she's connected enough to do anything useful. And I reckon she's probably monitored. I'm sure you could get a meeting with her anyway without needing to go through all that, but... Uh... I don't know. I feel like uh, you're going to have to put your nose to the grindstone and do some stakeouts. Find an inn. Do we think uh, Niall, Neuralink, or Nippon Euro are hiring? Got a fresh face boy with some talents. A big company is always hiring, especially new. Loma stock, fresh off the press. Well, I got no uh, obvious connections to anyone unseemly, so... <laughs> exactly. For all intents and purposes, if you, purposes, you've existed like a week. Yeah. Legally, at least. I think you could uh, use your girl, Songbird, on the inside. An extra set of eyes will help, but... She's not going to be the answer to get you in. She could gather some intel. And the mystery caller will give us more. I think we need to sit tight for a few days. Stake out these three companies and find the right inn. Yeah, you're right. Look, when I spoke to Songbird, she was hesitant to destroy her own new existence but what if we didn't pitch it to her as that what if we literally wanted information on people she doesn't actually care about corpse like surely she's got enough fight in her to just plant some bugs for us and get us closer to answers and access yeah mate you know what maybe she does but uh we'll have to find out in the next episode <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Ugly you know. stares directly at a blank wall in between all of you. <laughs> looking straight at the blank wall. He's on his own supply again. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thanks everyone for joining Yay. us. And in particular, a big wet sloppy thanks. Expecto patron to our um, patrons. AJ okay. Macy. TB. Tickle Duck. Nick. Late Roses Burn. Erasable. Distinct and Dab. Distinct Dab. And all of our other wonderful patrons. Such as Steve. And the Whiskey Lover. And Blue Cat Pie. And Vici. Agnes I- Iona. We, we got a couple of them. Here. Well, we don't. Yeah, we, we don't usually read them. We just wanted to because we felt extra fresh. That's all, folks. Thank you all so much for joining us, and uh, thank you. We're not doing reboot next. Oh week. yes, thank oh, you. No, but why? We are going to stream. And we're going to stream with a special guest. Oh yeah, guest. we're going to stream with a bloody special we guest, and it will be on the main channel, YouTuber right? We're in the house. And ma- the main channel. Yeah, we're going to stream on Tabletop Main, okay. and I think I think it's just going to be hanging out a bit. I feel okay. like it might just be like a two-hour stream, um, and just chatting and talking shop with a famous YouTuber. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. it. And, and you mean another famous YouTuber? Because we already have Jazza. Oh, bloody no, bloody yeah. not even. Nah, Another Emil, famous. Emil, the, the Squidma, and uh, and the very own Lucas are going to join us. The, we're going to be tied We're going to need more table. chairs. Yeah. yeah. I think we're going to have to have two double ups. We're going to, if you scoot around we here. We're just basically basking in each I, other's glory. Yeah, I think we're going to be hanging out and talking all spread out on the screen. Okay. Or if we're all feeling super active, we'll, we'll get something happening that we're making. We might work on our creations and do like... I think we're working on the stream setup next Monday anyway. I think, to be completely honest, it could be a really good post-creation day, like have a beer or two and yeah. unwind with everyone. Especially after such a frantic... Yeah. You know, I, I think working on the creations may not be what people feel like doing. But, I, I you know, it's on the table. It's really what people feel like grabbing at. Mm. Um, but in general, I actually think most viewers are going to be most interested in just coming and hanging out. Like yeah, it's not often sure. you get people from, you know, high echelon... Uh, hobby mm. channels, no, talking, doing live geeking streams, geeking out about stuff. It's really well, gonna be. Fun. There's a few podcasts, yeah, but not with us on them. No, well, <laughs> yeah. that's what you're right here for. I don't know if uh, Emil's been a guest on any or anything. It's hard. I think to be fair, look, I don't want to speak for other people, <laughs> but I imagine he's in a similar situation to us, yeah. where just by distance and like, time zones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's hard. Like, so it's a very rare opportunity, and we're gonna make the most of it. It's gonna be lovely. So hopefully, we'll see you all there. Otherwise, thank you for joining us this week. Bye. Roll more uh, dice. <laughs> That's a trusty That's a sign-off. We've done. Good, yeah. No, it wasn't. Roll more dice. I don't know that anyone says that. I was starting a new tradition as if we'd done that for like two years. Gotcha. Now nice. we always sign off by saying roll your dice. Did yeah. I roll your dice or is it roll more dice? I already can't remember. So, so we're taking dice pools yep. to the extreme. Roll yeah. more dice. <laughs>